At the IDEX and NAVDEX 2023, Edge has displayed three unmanned ground vehicles after acquiring a majority stake in Neuron Robotics, the top developer of autonomous systems and robotics in Europe. One of these UGVs is an 8x8 robotic combat vehicle RCV concept, called the Nemer RCV, which emphasizes age commitment to improving their in-house capabilities. Let's take a look at this new technology in detail. Specifications The Nemer RCV is designed for tactical mobility, high performance, maneuverability, and speed. The Nemer RCV is also known as such because it was developed using components from the Nemer 8x8 wheeled armored personnel carrier. As a result, it is not surprising that the Nemer RCV is quite heavy, weighing in at 23 tons when in combat mode. There are two configurations of the RCV showcased at the event. The first one was a full-size prototype equipped with an 8x8 drivetrain and a John Cockerill Defense's uncrewed turret, which had a 30mm cannon. Meanwhile, the second was a smaller-scale model of a turreted 4x4 vehicle, which could fit inside a CH-47 Chinook transport helicopter. Both versions of the RCV have a modular design, which makes it easy to perform different roles. Its modular design also allows for increased standoff distance from enemy units, thereby reducing lethality risks. It can be highly customized, with the top center section of the vehicle can be removed and replaced with various modules, such as weapon systems, missile launchers, or anti-drone solutions. The most significant feature of the vehicle is its ability to carry an exceptionally high payload of up to 12 tons, supported by eight wheels and four axles. Engine. Equipped with a 600 horsepower hybrid drive, the RCV 8x8 can reach speeds of up to 81 miles per hour on paved roads. One interesting feature of the vehicle is that it is capable of traversing water obstacles independently, as it is amphibious. Armament and Protection The RCV 8x8 is armed with the John Cockerell 1030 unmanned turret, which can be fitted with a 30mm Northrop Grumman MK44 Bushmaster II cannon and a sudden 62mm machine gun. In addition to the main armament, the turret features a twin spike or anti-tank guided missile launcher. The armor of the turret is modular and can be upgraded up to standing 4569A level 4. While the level of protection offered by the vehicle's hull armor is unknown, its weight suggests that it is likely to be able to withstand at least armor-piercing small arms fire and fragments from artillery grenades. Notably, the RCV 8x8 is highly adaptable to various tasks as the middle part of the hull is partially interchangeable. As such, the turret can be easily replaced with a different module for other purposes such as combat by installing a turret with a 105mm cannon and anti-tank guided missile launcher or work by tasking the vehicle as a crane rolls. In a promotional video shown at the event, Nehmer presented a few examples of potential 8x8 RCV variants, such as a cargo or ammunition transporter, a fire support vehicle with a 30mm cannon or 90mm gun, a missile launcher, a surveillance vehicle, an unmanned aerial vehicle launcher, and a mobile power station. Overall, an 8-wheeled RCV possesses amphibious capabilities, quick acceleration, a small turning radius, and a low profile that makes it ideal for stealth operations. This high-performance vehicle can be customized for either manned or unmanned operation, and it can be powered by an all-electric or hybrid motor. As a result, the RCV is equipped to handle any tactical challenge. So what do you think about this 8x8 RCV from Edgy? Drop your comment below and let us know. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
I'm Aubrey Duplessis, the CEO of Number Automotive, a manufacturing company here in the UAE, part of the Edge Group. Behind me, you have the RCV vehicle or the robotic combat vehicle. Uh, this uh, one over here is a, is a concept that we're doing, of course, with Edge now playing a major part in, in the unmanned uh, area and also having a strong unmanned presence at the show. Uh, this is our contribution from a vehicle point of view. So as you can see, it's an 8x8 vehicle. Uh, on top of it, we have a 30, mil, a 30 millimeter uh, a remote weapon system. This one is from John Cockrell, but really to show the flexibility of the vehicle and, and, and the modularity that we can do. If we move around the, to the back side of the vehicle, I want to show you something else. The way we've designed this is to have a modular uh, concept where if you look here at the back, you will see there's an opening all around. This whole center part of the vehicle can be removed easily by these lifting lugs and can be replaced with anything else. So what we are foreseeing is, uh, for instance, you'll have a, a missile carrier, you'll have an anti-drone application, you might even put a, a personnel uh, capsule in here where you can fit nine or ten people inside. Uh, but of course the main purpose of the vehicle is to be an unmanned vehicle uh, and really to be able to be controlled remotely and have some autonomous uh, capabilities by itself to have decision making in certain situations and as autonomous systems and, and functionality grow in the end in a few years from now it can be a fully auto, uh, automated or autonomous vehicle uh, so what we're foreseeing for now is uh, by the next IX to have a, a technology demonstrator where we can actually uh, demonstrate the capabilities of the vehicle. This is a hybrid electric drive vehicle and the reason for that is quite simple. When you look at an unmanned vehicle like this, it's got a much lower profile than a normal uh, manned 8x8 vehicle, which is a, a very high vehicle. You, you need, of course, you need the height to be able to fit people on the inside. People need to be able to climb in, climb out and it needs to be ergonomic. If you don't have people on the inside of the vehicle, you can bring down the profile and the height a lot, which has benefits in terms of the combat situation where you're less visible, uh, your, your thermal image is smaller, it's just uh, uh, sort of automatically hidden better. Um, but now with that comes some problems because you can see with a low profile of the vehicle, a, tra a traditional drivetrain uh, with engine transmission and your, uh, your drivetrain going to the wheels, you don't have enough space. So by adopting a hybrid electric te uh, technology, you can have the power unit uh, separately from the wheel hub motors. So the drive will be uh, in the wheels by means of wheel hub motors. And of course, then you only need to distribute from the batteries electricity. So, a long story to tell you, it gives us a lot more flexibility to do a hybrid electric drive. And maybe in future, uh, if battery technology increases dramatically, it can become fully electric. But for now, we foresee it to be hybrid uh, for quite some time to come. How many proofs can take by this? Uh, if, we, if we put people on the inside, so we have a separate uh, capsule for people, nine at this stage, yes. But that, of course, is without a driver and a commander, uh, because your driver and commander will sit remotely. Uh, so purely to transport people from point A to point B. But as I said, modular design, you can change that. You can put a flat rack on top, put a, uh, a container. This vehicle has a, uh, a phenomenal carrying capacity of 12 tons. So you can put 12 tons of load on top of this vehicle. Um, and yes, I mean, then whatever the imagination is, we can put on it. It's designed in that way. And of course, on the side of it, you can also mount missiles, anti-tank missiles, guided missiles uh, that can further strengthen it. But as a direct fire weapon, this is already uh, pretty powerful.